Hey Libra, Libra, la di da da. Oh Libra, Libra, la di da da. Oh Libra, ooh 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 ooh, la di da da. Ta da da. Oh Libra, la di da da. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus and other placements. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Libra, this is your second bonus reading. And this one is your midnight message. Now, it might be a little raunchy. It might be a little hoodie. But this is it because I'm using the hood tarot cards and I'm using regular regular tarot cards. So, so I'm going to kind of cushion yours. I'm going to use the regular tarot first and then I'm going to come back with the hood tarot. Is that all right with you? Okay. All right. Libra. Let's see what they got to say. Now, this is your uh, midnight, so you know it's going to be March the 28th when you, uh, if you don't see it before, uh, I mean, right at midnight. Oh, you got a seven of cups. It look like you got some choices, okay? Some options, okay? When it comes to your money, all right? All right? One of the options that came to you, you would willing to accept, okay? And had you kind of feeling kind of moody, baby. Yeah, because you, you were stuck between two decisions. You were wondering why you can't do both of them at the same time. Uh -huh. So there's a leave that want to do both of them, not just one. All right? You feel like it's going to bring you some stability and keep your house in order? You know, all of the above, baby. Yeah. In fact, you feel like that uh, it's going to also give you that uh, that protection, Uh Put you under the umbrella protection, okay? But you got a new, you got something new coming in, okay? Because you're about to put something down. What you putting down? You tired of this? You tired of working? Now, there's a Libra here that's tired of working. I don't mean you're tired of working like tired of making money. No, you're tired, okay? But you ain't giving up, okay? That's like that Kevin Gates song talking about he ain't tired. Or he don't get tired, something like that, okay? But uh, look like you uh about to walk away from... uh. If you got two jobs, baby, look like you might be about to walk away from one of them. Mm-hmm. And because, and by you doing that, uh, six of pentacles, it look like it's gonna it's gonna still bring you some balance, success, and stuff because you really need enough money to be able to do other things. And if you got children, okay, or or you've been seen or you've been deemed as a person that's very loving, uh, that's compassionate toward uh, others, and people can come to you for money, um. That's that Six of Pentacles right here, okay? But uh, look at here, the Four of Cups. Now, this is the first. Four of Cups in reverse. Look at here. <laughs> Baby, I got to go to the book on that one because I've never had the Four of Cups in reverse, okay? But I'm going to tell you what I think right off the top. Not what I feel, but what I think. I think this means that uh, uh you don't have to sit on your money, okay? You got more than enough if you want to share, okay? But you got the option. You got the choices, okay? That's the Seven of Cups. So let's see what this Four of Pentacles mean in reverse. Remember, we must have pentacles. Okay. And yeah, we must have pentacles. Okay, so a verse that says this is a bad debt card. So you, you might still have some debts that's unpaid. Okay, or some loans or something. It also says that it, it could mean being selfish. Well, maybe you one of those people that feel like that uh hell, I work for this money. You did. All right. You got a towel mama coming in. Booyah. Okay, because you get a message about some money. Well, actually, some money coming in towards you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going back to the book on this one because I'm using a different deck. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. What is this knight having to say to my darling Libras? Libra. 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 Okay, the knight says that, uh, okay, okay, so the... He takes his responsibility seriously and finishes what he starts. Awesome. Okay, so Libra, now that you found out that you got a debt that's not paid, you say, oh, hell no. Oh, I got to pay this here. So that's pretty much what you did. Look at here. Four pentacles in reverse and then the king of knights. I mean the king of knights. <laughs> the knight of pentacles and both of them correlating together. That's what they say. All right. So that's what brought that tower moment in. You were like, What? <gasps> Okay, because it was like a shock to you because you didn't realize that you had that. You, I mean, sometimes we get so caught up in our own stuff, sometimes we forget, right? I know it. I know it. Two of rods here. All right? All right? Look like uh, 
Shoot, look what maybe you're trying to figure out who the hell to pay for us. I don't know. But anyway, let's let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the book again. Two of rods, two of rods. That's your passion, all right? Balance, okay, stuff like that. Press down, shaking together, and it's over running out. Okay, it says you're strong enough to change your dream into reality. So basically they're telling you, okay. After you've paid all of this money or these debt type of stuff, it might be a whammy for you, baby. You might feel like that, oh, you don't have much left. But look here, they say you're strong enough to change your dreams into reality. And they're telling you to be bold about this Libra. Mm -hmm. All right? They want you to be bold. Okay? All right, you got this hyphen here. Lord, Lord. I'm going to say this because the hyphen came out in reverse. I, I must have accidentally did this. I, no, I can't say that because I always make sure my car is straight. But anyway, all right, so you got the hyphen that come out in, in reverse. Come back to me, Mr. Hyphen. Okay, that's number five. We already know fives change. All right, so let's see. All right, this hyphen in reverse says you are often unconventional and show a disregard for the rules. Well, sometimes you got to break rules in order to make rules in order, in order to be successful. Okay, so that's what you're doing. Hyphen in reverse, right on. Okay, and guess what? By you breaking the rules so you can make it, look what you did. All right? You got to wish this being fulfilled, baby. Nine of cups, okay? All right? And and things are going in your way, in your favor. Awesome. Wheel of fortune. So whatever it was that you were doing before that, prior to this year, it looked like you're going to end that cycle and start a new one. And this one's going to be in your favor. Okay, Libra? All right, now let me put some hood tarot on top of this thing. Let's see what goes on. All right. All right, clear the energy of the cards. All right, give me a message for the Libras, a midnight message. Okay, what do Libras need to know? Remember, we're working with hood tarot, so y'all don't get offended. That's all I'm going to say. Don't get offended. <laughs> all right. All right, look like somebody going to get that ass tap. Mm-hmm. They say, tap that ass. Okay. Yeah. What else you got? Okay. Name might have a B in it. Start with a B. Have a B somewhere in it. Okay. Or it might be your last name. Okay. Oh, Lord. Libra. They got somebody. Somebody. You got somebody on, around you that's on the low down. On the down low. Okay. Or oh, it could be you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Libra. Libra. Yeah, the Brokeback Mountain card came out. Apparently, that's the truth. All right. Anything else? The Libras need to know in this midnight magic message. All right. Yeah. Now your midnight message, you getting it early as a bonus before everybody else. You and Virgo, because uh, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate each and every sign. Okay, but I want to let you know that y'all had like the highest views. Okay. So far. All right. Anything else you want to tell Virgo? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell Libra? Let's see. Well, the animal midnight messages Libra need to know. All right. All I can say is don't be afraid of your sexuality. All right. Because some people, and I know some people that, uh, that was a, that are afraid of their sexuality, sexuality, which it actually caused them to have mental illness. So ain't, there's no reason to fight it unless you got a strong mind and that's something that you just don't want to be a part of. But if you know this is something that you enjoy, hmm, uh, uh, all I'm saying is you need to embrace it. All right, Libra, you got a card here. There's a Libra saying, there's a Libra or somebody connected to a Libra to say, I'm afraid to walk away. And it might be a Jeep, somebody's in jail. Okay? Or a jailbird. Or somebody goes in and out of jail. Okay? All right? Or it could be somebody goes in and out of jail and you don't want to let this person go. All right? Somebody's dealing with athlete feet. They need to uh, take care of that. All right? Somebody else want to say, you got to go, motherfucker. All right? You got somebody else saying, ooh, baby, who doing that? Who doing that? On credit. Huh? Somebody giving poor Nani away on credit. And then trying to wait to pay that to go pick up their money. Oh, baby, baby. I got a story I can tell you. Mm-hmm. About a friend of mine back in the day when we was young. 
Mm-hmm. And I told baby, who do that shit? Uh-huh. She fooled around there and gave it to somebody that was married. Girlfriend, boyfriend, my friend. Y'all remind me to tell y'all the story. Okay. All right. We got a pillar princess here. Pillar princess. That's uh, 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 somebody that all they want to do is lay still in the bed. Don't do no work or nothing and let, the, and let somebody else service them. Okay. Now, there are some men that like pillar princesses. Okay. All right. Are there any more messages for the Lib Libras before I close this one? One more shuffle. Okay. Okay. Somebody got that big gorilla energy. Hey. Look like they've been drinking, too. You know, big gorilla energy comes out when you've been drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get loose now. What you heard? A drunk man, a drunk mind speak a drunk man speaks a sober man mind. Rest assured, if he big gorilla on your ass under the influence, they let you know that's what he wanted to do anyway. He just got a chance to be a little bit more relaxed and stuff so he can go with the flow. All right, Libra. I thank you for uh watching your bonus reading of the midnight messages. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll be back to do another video. Yay, yay.